Hi there, I'm Pam Carr and I'm from Caraway Crochet and today I'm going to be sharing how to do the bean stitch. I'm using this Karen Simply Soft which is a beautiful color but I have been noticing a little bit that it has had a tendency to split. If you don't like that maybe choose something else and, and use it for a different one. It might not be the best uh, yarn for this stitch but the, the bean stitch is really cute. It kind of has a crisscross effect and it's the same on both sides. So you can see some are going this way, some are going the other way. And it's um, quite beautiful. So to do the bean stitch, you have to start off with an odd number on your chain. I'm actually going to start a new one here for you so that I can show you exactly how we do it from the beginning. Because the first row is a little bit different just in that you are, so a slip knot to start. And I'm using my five millimeter hook and I'm chaining an odd number. So I've chosen to chain 13. Okay, so I'll join you back when I finish my 13. So after my 13 are done, let's move that out of the way, I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to do another two. And we're going to be working into the third chain. This is an easy way of finding what the third chain is. It's one, two, and then that one you pinched is the one you're going to go into, okay? So we're not wrapping the yarn around the hook to start the bean stitch. We are just going straight into that third cha chain from the hook, stick, inserting our hook there, wrapping the yarn around and pulling it through. Now, don't hold it too tightly, okay? Then, Wrap the yarn around and go into the same stitch. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through. Wrap the yarn around, put it into the same stitch. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through. Always pull it kind of loose so it allows you to pinch and pull through those loops and chain one to secure it. Now for the first row, we are going to be skipping a stitch and working into the next one. So we're going to put our hook straight into that next stitch, wrap the yarn over and pull it through. There's our two. And we're going to keep working in the same stitch. Wrap the yarn over, put it in, wrap the yarn over, pull it through once and do it again. Twice. And we'll have six loops on our hook. Wrap the yarn over, pinch and pull so you make a space for your hook to slide through. Turn your hook sideways and pull it through and chain to tie it off. So now I'm going to sit down so I can do this more comfortably for you. Wrap the yarn. You don't wrap the yarn over. That's the thing we always want to do and we have to be careful doing the bean stitch. Insert your hook right into the neck. Skip one. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Four on your hook, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over and turn your hook and pull it through. Chain one and here we go. Skip a stitch. Yarn, put your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull it through so you've got two loops. Yarn over, put it into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull it through. And we have four loops. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull it through. And we have six loops. Yarn over, turn your hook, pull on your fabric and pull it through. There you go. Okay, skip another one into the next one. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, move your fingers to be pulling there and gently pull it through all your stitches and chain one.
skip a stitch and into the next one. Here we go. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through all the stitches. And chain. And here we go into our last skip and into the last stitch. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch chain. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through all of them. Chain one and turn. Now we're going to do another chain. And then we're going to work into this space right there. So if you're looking at your row and you give it a little tug right before you start your second one, you can see there's a V in there. So you put your hook right into that space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over into the same space. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through all of the six loops and tie it off with a chain. Now we need to find the next one. Oh, there it is, right there between those two little puffs. Open it up like that. Don't put your yarn over, put your hook right in there. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same space, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over into the same space, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through all six and tie it off with a chain. Okay, ready for the next one? There's the little hole there. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull it through. See how I've made it? I haven't, I'm not holding it tight like that. I'm loosening it up, okay? Yarn over, put your hook in, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, pinch and pull. Okay, and on to the next one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, into the same space, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, into the same space, yarn over, pull it through. And we're nearly done. Row two. There's your space. Insert your hook. Yarn over. Pull it through. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over. Pull it through. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over. Pull it through. And then pull it through all six loops chain and on to the next one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over and yarn over. And there we go. Oops, I lost it. <laughs> Can't get away on me there. <laughs> okay, and into the last one. This is a bit more tricky, but there it is. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same one. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over into the same space. Yarn over, pull it through. And pull it through all of them. And chain one, and turn. And so this is how we work our bean stitch. And this is what we end up with. Beautiful, and it it's reversible. It looks really pretty on both sides. Okay, my name is Pam Carr. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do, and I would love to have you. And um, click on the little bell if you would like notifications, and I am going to do, be doing more stitch tutorials because I'm doing a temperature blanket called the Lots of Stitches Temperature Blanket, and I will be introducing 52 new, new stitches throughout 2021. 
So thank you for joining me. Enjoy your bean stitch and happy crocheting.